I'm gonna come out today. I'm gonna come out to you as somebody who doesn't like rainbows. I think they're hard to make look expensive, but I do like gay shit. When I was brand new gay, I was like, if I had to describe myself, gay isn't even like one of the three most important words that I would use at this point in my life. If the non Christina Aguilera version of Lady Marmalade comes on the radio, I'm like, this is anti homo bullshit. Hi, I'm legend, icon, and star Trixie Mattel, and this is my vision board. I guess my vision is to be white and thin and flimsy and uh, barely standing. I've never made a vision board before. I hate to say it, it's a little LA, it's a little hokey pokey. It's a little bit light your candle and set your intention. You know what I mean? Wow. Straight people love Pete Davidson. They love it, I don't know why. You guys, I'm really looking here, hold on. This is the word birth control. <laughs> This is kind of significant in two ways. One, more responsible safe sex practices. Two, just making sure that in 2020, I continue to not want a baby. Oh, I like this. I'm kind of starting off here with a lot of words, but this one says real talk. I need people to get real. Oh, wait a minute. This is a good one. If you know anything about me, you know that I have an impressive collection of Barbie dolls, um, mostly from like 65 to 73. I slowed down on my collecting because I have everything, but this year I want to do better. Look at that. Go bigger. When I'm on tour this year, I'm gonna be doing like 30 American cities and like 21 European cities. Um, so I'm really gonna put my skin through an emotional, spiritual journey. You guys should see me on my days off. I'm like a hell creature because I'll have a freshly shaved head, and then I have like, just a face of like cream and a body covered in Vaseline. I just like lay in the dark. I might have cut this out from a maxi pad picture, but I really just want the color red. I want to really embrace the color red this year. I used to think red was tacky and slutty, but then I tried wearing red and I was like, oh, that's the point. Ah! Oh! I have a vision to be this comfortable naked in a magazine. I've met Lizzo, she has a beautiful face and a beautiful body, so we're gonna cut the face. And look who shows up on the other side of Lizzo. The absolute fucking nerve of him. Okay, I'm turning the corner on Pete because this whole uh, Pete Davidson photo shoot is Barbie themed. Is he hot? He's a little hot, I think. I started doing stand-up because people had to listen to me and it's the best form of therapy possible. Okay, Pete Davidson, you're winning me over slowly. Stand up was the first time I was like, oh my God. This is the first 10 minutes of my life where I feel like I knew exactly what I was doing and I have 100% purpose in the world. Oh, here we go, TikTok. I just got a TikTok. Um, imagine the heartbreak of being Trixie Mattel and having to be Trixie Mattel 8. By the way, if you're a real fan of mine, when a new platform starts, don't take my name. I just gotta stop to cut out Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez holding brass knuckles is uh, definitely, definitely welcome, welcome energy. Oh. Can I have a fitness goal and a non-fitness goal in the same thing? Absolutely. My favorite food is nachos. I love them. When I'm on tour, I know that I can go to like Cheesecake Factory or like Dave & Buster's and I can get like a base level like corporate nachos. Minimally spicy, it's basically cheese and chips. I love nachos. Oh! I mean, this is a pretty good fitness picture. I might just take this whole bicep. Um, usually in tour, it goes one of two ways. Usually I get really in shape or I drink wine every single night and uh, eat TV dinners and it goes south, so. Could you imagine, this is my arm, this little bit arm. Well, we've got some presidential candidates here. I guess this would be my opportunity to officially endorse some of them. I do think Pete Buttigieg is hot. I know that I'm a little damaged for thinking that, but um, he's just, he's a little hot. If I had to pick one, which I, I can't, I love Bernie and Elizabeth Warren. I think this is a good way to wrap it up here. We have a Keith Haring Barbie. The folklore of Barbie is that her name is Barbara Millicent Roberts and she moved to California from a fictional city in Wisconsin. And so that was part of the reason I named the album. Also, the direct translation of Barbara means strange woman. I mean, what woman is stranger than a woman who's actually a man? This is my vision board. It's really all coming together. I've spoken it into existence and I'm really feeling a difference already. Thank you for watching. You can listen to my new record, Barbara, on your phone, on your TV, whatever. And you can come see my tour grown up in 29 American cities and 21 European cities.